Hog after 11. Again, reverse 25. Amen. Amen. The verse 25 reads, And when ye stand, pray. Forgive, if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven Give your trespasses. May God bless his word. Amen. Like the use of our subject, who is blocking your blessings? Part two. <laughs> who is blocking your blessings? Part two. tried the last time, but I couldn't get through it. So once again, who is blocking your blessings? Somebody say, I am. I am. Amen. I am. You blocking your own? And I'm blocking mine. This is a continuation from last week's sermon. Mm -hmm. We discussed that unforgiveness comes in many forms. Yes. But reaping also comes in many forms as well. Somebody yeah. say amen. amen. Reaping is a consequence that can block, I said block, your prayers from getting to God's ears. Why? Because when you want to forgive, you're holding malice and hatred. And God has no part of malice and hatred. We can't come to God with hatred in our hearts and expect to be on the same accord as God. Amen. Amen. True. I watched this. Jesus the Son left us completely in access to God the Father. Yes. By way of a comforter, uh -huh. the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now, church and Facebook community, I'll stop by to tell you this morning that there is such a thing as access denied. Yes, sir. I'll say it, Pastor. Y'all said, Dog, I'm going to pray for me. All right. Sister Mimi, God bless you. Amen. My friend Western, you find the term access denied. He said it's a message that appears when someone tries to access something, they don't have a written access. Access denied. Y'all yeah. ain't gonna pray for me today. Well, when you are out of alignment with God, you have cut yourself off from your source of joy. In other words, access denied. Y'all ain't praying for me today. God said you've been blocked. Yes. Feel like preaching. Come on now. When you're out of alignment with God, mm -hmm. when it comes to your healing, mm -hmm. access denied. Yes. 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 Yes.
access denied. All right. God said you've been blocked. Yes. When you're out of alignment with God, mm -hmm. when you come to your comfort, uh -huh. access denied. Yes. God said you've been blocked. Yes. God sent you a comforter, uh -huh. the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. When you are not in alignment with Him, mm -hmm. you have blocked the Holy Spirit, and your access to Him is denied. Yeah. That's right. That's true. True. Why? Because He will not mm -hmm. and cannot dwell in an unclean place. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. your temple, not your body. Yes. It's in your heart, your mind, your spirit, your soul. Yes. If it's not alive with God, don't expect the Holy Spirit. I'm a Holy, come on, Holy Spirit. Well, come on, work. Come on. All right, now. He got to have somewhere to come to. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. So who's blocking your blessings? Somebody say, I am. I am. Having money. Yes. Can't replace the love of God. Amen. 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 Brother Giles, what happened today? Brother Giles, I got more money than I ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. After I retired. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened today? But I had God before I retired. Uh -huh. Sister Barbara, just like a plant, can be cut off yeah. from a source of nourishment. Yes. From like the sun and the salt uh -huh. and the rain. Yes. Now, y'all didn't talk to me. Yes. Yes. Without nourishment, yes. it would surely die. Yes. Well, so will you, yeah. and so will I. Yes. What causes access tonight? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked. In other words, what causes your disconnect mm -hmm. with God? Yes. In the Bible, we find that sin causes access denied. denied. Yes. Unforgiveness causes access denied. 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 Yeah. Being, a hip yeah. being a hypocrite yeah. causes access yeah. denied. Yeah. A hypocrite is a person who oh, hypocrite is because you don't realize that you want. Yeah. Look at me, but I want you to look at yourself. Yeah. A hypocrite is a person yeah. who believes they have character traits that they truly don't possess. Yeah. You're fooling yourself. Yeah. Now, I've let other folks fool me a time or two in my life, yeah. but I'm really a fool and I fool myself. That's a real fool. Yeah. Their character actually contradicts what they say they believe. Yes. They say they believe in God, but they don't accept Jesus Christ and they are in Satan. Yes. Access? Yes. Fear is the absence of faith. Fear is not believing that God can fix your problems. Yes. But instead of letting go, you hold on to them. Yes, no. yes. Until your head turns gray <clears throat> like mine. Yeah. And I always say that it don't turn gray, it turn loose. <laughs> Y'all ain't praying for me? Yeah. That means you agree with me. Uh -huh. Blasphemy. Mm. That's a good one, huh? Uh -huh. Yes, it is. You're simply speaking against. Oh, my mercy. Showing contempt, a lack of reverence for God. So you got to have reverence for God. I ain't talking about preachers. Reverence. I'm talking about you have reverence, reverence. Yes. for God. Yes. When a person calls on God only when he needs God. Uh -huh. What about the good times? Uh -huh. Some right there that the good times roll. Uh -huh. Don't let them roll away from you. Because bad time is coming. 
Better keep some of them good times. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. But when all is well, this person, he speaks against God. Oh, yeah. Take credit. He takes credit for the good times himself. This is blasphemy. He can't say, oh, my God, when trouble comes knocking at the door. Too late then. He denied God. Why not God deny him? You like that one, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you access denied. denied. So repent. Mm -hmm. Let's look at being stingy. Yeah. <laughs> With God's tithes. Right. Still giving God. Oh, I know y'all get tired of hearing it, but I ain't gonna get tired of saying it. Right. Giving God that same old dollar. And have a nerve. Oh, I'm ready. To feel good about yourself. I'm sorry. Don't stop praying for me now. Baby, you block your own message. I, mean, I can't afford it. You can't afford it not. I said God's time because everything you earn belongs. To God. Yes. Well, He only asks for 10%. Mm -hmm. What if God called your spirit out of your body while you're sitting there on your money? Mm -hmm. Oh, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Then nothing, I mean nothing, will move by itself then. Mm -hmm. Without God, nothing will move. Mm -hmm. In other words, access is not. Your legs. Won't work. Amen. Your feet Amen. won't work. Uh -huh. Let's talk about putting your mouth on other folk. Amen. When you see people trying to make an effort, mm -hmm. instead of lifting them up, yeah. you're tearing them down. Yeah. When you call strife, in your house and at the church house. See, sometimes you can't separate because when you leave your house and head straight to church with that same hell in you. Oh, come on now. When you leave the same head in the house, at your house, you bring it to the church house. Well, so I'm about to tell you this morning, I, I'm here to preach the hell out of you. I ain't come to the house, but at the church house. I'm pop the pastor will never come out of video. I'm not going to be by there. Huh? I can have hell in church. I'm not coming out of your house. You trying to hide your beer can? I know what beer is. I don't drink it, but I know what it is. I ain't never had one, but I know what a bud light looks like. People are looking at you, church folk, as examples. But your mouth can call other folk to leave the church. You ever notice you all of a sudden you sit by yourself? It's the reason for that. Nobody will sit by you. Oh, oh Lord, he's he really picking it, baby. Yeah. I'm trying to help somebody. Right. Your mind can call folks to leave their church and some folks leave their own home. Amen. Oh, I'm preaching today. To so you, I say access denied. All right. Repent. Yes, Lord. You need to get right with God. Yes. Ephesians 4 and 27 says, Neither give place to the devil. Right. Faith, mm -hmm. place in Christ and the cross, give Satan no place. No Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. Neither give place to the devil. Yeah. Faith, place in Christ and the cross, give Satan no place, no place. to dwell. Yes. 
Satan, the enemy, is listening to what you say, and he loves your message. You mean? Did you know that you saying, go ahead, tell off. Tell off. Tell him off. You better not listen. Go up and tell him he's stepping on your feet. You're not going to tell me nothing. Uh -oh. <laughs> I suggest uh -huh. that you sit yeah. and learn. Yeah. Don't let Satan push you yeah. into unnecessary altercations yeah. with your brother and your sister. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you ain't called me in a while. It's for a reason. I ain't heard nothing bad. So I ain't calling you. Amen. Because every time I call you, Miss Randy makes me mad too. Yes. Oh, Lord help me today, y'all. Y'all didn't know Pastor get mad too? Oh, I try not to. But every now and then, oh Lord, that old ugly head, old Junebug shows up. Oh my God. Mary, you laughing at me. <laughs> Don't give Satan a place in your life. Oh, yes, yes. Tell Satan you can't park here. All right. You got to park somewhere else. Yes, yes. My faith in Christ needs no room for Satan. Yes. No room. Verse 29 says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Yes. But that which is good to the use of edifying. That it may minister grace unto the hearers. Please, church, please, don't take misunderstandings and spread them around the community as truth. Yes. Because when you gossip mm -hmm. and misunderstandings, you are giving your brother poison. Yes. I can dare to call somebody a name. Yes. Your party won't come unnoticed. It's noticed by God. Yes, Lord. I mean what I say. Yes. Correct communication. Yes, Lord. Should not come out of your mouth. Yes. Practice saying something kind yes. to each other and about each other. Each other. Yes. Mama says you can't say nothing good. Don't say nothing at Don't all. Say nothing at all. Amen. Amen. Mama pinched them lips. That's right. So we're going to start. Oh, y'all ain't going to pinch lips. Around pinching lips. <laughs> Verse 30 says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, for by ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Right. If the Holy Spirit is in you, mm -hmm. Lord have mercy, He warns you when you're about to do or say something contrary to God's will. Yeah. That will be slow to speak yeah. and quick. To listen yeah. to the Holy Spirit uh -huh. when He tries to guide you in the right direction. Amen. Thirty-one says, "Let all bitterness, mm -hmm. wrath, and anger, and clamor, evil speaking, mm -hmm. be put away from you with all malice." Yes, yeah. In other words, do just the opposite of these words. Mm -hmm. Replace every one of these words with good. Christ like qualities. Amen. If someone has respected you as a child of God, and then they hear you speaking evil mm -hmm. of someone else, yes. you just lost that person's respect. Yes. Huh? Yes. You just lost it. Yes. Why would they want to visit your church? Yes. You haven't learned to put away malice. Yes. Show them the God in you. By your godly conduct. Yes. But first, first, except when you are oh, have mercy, out of order. Yes, yes. Stop trying to put the oak in order when you're out of order. Yes. 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 Come on, y'all make them kids sit down and you'll run in every one. Like I got to tell y'all now, I'm the one preaching. They're not bothering me. Why are they bothering you? 
press the one of the mark of, for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. Yes. In other words, develop godly amnesia. Yes, yes. Gotcha. Forget stuff. Yes. Don't say I'm sorry and don't mean it. Yes. And don't say I forgive you and don't mean it. Yes. Forgive and forget. Yes. Man will always forgive you, but God loves. God forgives and he forgets. So somebody say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord have mercy. But wrong is wrong, and you'll reap wrong when you've done it. Right is right, and you reap right when you've done it. Don't let your wrong outweigh your right. Let me say that again. Don't let your wrong outweigh your right. Let it be. Oh, huh? Even Stephen. Y'all ain't talking to me. Even Stephen. So you might as well forgive. It would do no good to try to get back at those who harm you. Now they say that no hurt like church hurt. I said that the other day. I don't agree with that, but that's just my opinion. To me, hurt is hurt. You hurt me outside the church, and it hurt. You hurt me in the church, and it hurt. You hurt me at Walmart, and it hurt. Don't you think every time I see you turn and talk on me and keep speaking to me, that hurts me? I ain't got nothing to you. You turn and call on me at purchase. Because you know you owe me some money. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> Let me tell you something, baby. Stop turning on the I don't forgot about that. When I gave it to you, it was over. Because I knew you already owed me. When you said you loaned me, I already you already owe me. I gave you that. And I'm gonna tell you a secret, I gave you that and I gave you more. It's done. Stop turning calls for me. Say, Pastor, I love you. I'm going to make I love you too. Lord, I'm going to show you why. You can't get into heaven carrying the burden of forgiveness. Yes. Yes. Unforgiveness. Yes. 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 I'm going to ask you a question. Some of y'all came in a little late. I ain't supposed to be. I'm showing you something. Who blocked your blessings? Say, I am. Say it loud. I can hear you. I am. Amen. Why? Because I won't forgive my brother. Because I won't forgive my best friend. Because I won't forgive my husband. Because I won't forgive my wife. Forgive somebody. Yeah. You don't know what he did. I don't care what he did. Yeah. I don't have to know. Yeah. I don't want to know. Yeah, exactly. I want to know if you forgave me. Yeah. I want to know if you forgave her. That's what I want to know. Yeah. That's why I'm standing here Sunday morning. Because I want to know if you are forgiven. Yeah. Stop blocking the work of the Holy Spirit that is inside of you. Amen. If you want God to hear you in times of your trials and tribulations, forgive mm -hmm. and unblock the Holy Spirit, which is your intercessor. Mm -hmm. To the ears of God, yes. forgive and forget. Yes. Because Jesus Christ forgave us all with three nails and a cross. And a cross. Yes. And he hung there and he died. Yes, he, he allowed himself to be buried in those brand new barber tunnels. Yes, His barber called him one little lady long. Yes. He laid it all Friday evening, all Friday night, all day Saturday, and all Saturday night. But early, early. Sunday morning, he rode her off out. Yes. And I thank God he rode, and I thank God yes. for Jesus. Yes. Who is blocking your blessing? Somebody say, I am. I am. Amen. The door of the church open. Amen. The devil you want today. They're willing to come and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Whatever you want. God love you so much. 
He waited for you for so long. Yes, Lord. If you just come. Please don't wait. Yes, Lord. Come right now. While there's still room at the cross for you. Even though many has come, there's still room for one, and that one could be and should be you. Amen. Thank you. 